Hi, long time no chat. So I've been a little busy recently. I got myself a new job and I had to adjust to that new schedule. Along with everything uh, starting to open up again, the weather being gorgeous and the fact that I have a garden, I put knitting and making videos kind of on a back burner for a little bit. We're here though, and I need to let you know the journey that I'm about to go on. So I made that Harry Styles cardigan and I love it and I posted about it on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. It's, it's linked below. I don't post often, but like it's there. And thus, my best friend from college, she was my roommate in college as well, said she liked it. And I said, don't threaten me with a good time because I'll make you one. And guess who's going to go visit her friend? It's me. I'm going to go visit my friend. I'm going to go visit my friend Emma and I would like to bring her this sweater because I thought that would be a fun thing to do at the end of July is to give someone a sweater. <laughs> so I have a lot of pastels in my yarn collection and I thought these would all kind of look nice together as a patchwork. So I'm doing a little spin on that Harry Styles cardigan where the body is going to be all patchwork and then I think the sleeves are just going to be one color each. Also because I have about two weeks to to do this because I'm going down the shore for work soon as well. But I wanted to let you guys see the sweater and maybe uh, see my friend Emma receiving it. And I know how big this sweater is because I have my own variation of it. It's going to take up half my luggage. And I'm kind of okay with that. For, for Emma, anything. Love you, boo-boo. Let's get knitting. The color palette screams Easter which will look fantastic on my friend Emma. So the very first thing I cast on was the sleeves. I wanted to make sure that I had enough yarn for each of the sleeves, so I used pink for the first one, gray for the second. I wanted the sleeves to kind of have an oversized but tapered look, so I started off at the widest part, which was gonna attach at the shoulder, and then I slowly tapered it in a little bit to the wrist before the cuff. I'm sure as you can tell by the many outfit changes that each of these sections did take quite a while and therefore a few days had passed between each of these clips. Everything that I did for the pink sleeve, I did the exact same thing on the gray sleeve. Both sleeves were done in a garter stitch, but in the round. So it went one row knit one row pearl to give the garter stitch look. It would have looked nicer if I had just done it flat and then put a seam in the sleeve, but I was on a time crunch, baby. I needed to get this sweater done. Therefore, I cut out the seaming part, which I'm not very good at still, but we're working on it. Progress over perfection. I started making the patchwork in squares that were all in strips. Each color had its own stitch, like this mint green is a seed stitch, the gray was a seed stitch, the purple was a fisherman's rib because texture. The pale blue and pink squares were all done in a garter stitch. Then I wanted the collar to kind of blend in but be different, so that is in a different kind of light blue. And finally, I wanted the accents to pop. I wanted the button band and the cuffs to be a completely different color, so I went with yellow because I love yellow, although I refuse to wear it on my own body. And I just had a really nice time choosing which colors went where, no solid pattern. It was just an easy breezy moment, baby. Honestly, this was the perfect project at the right time of my life. It was a good way for me to slow down, calm down before I had a very, very wild and crazy two weeks. So to piece everything together, I just crocheted each of the strips the same way that I did my original Harry Styles sweater and that thing has withstood a lot of wear and tear so far. Once everything's constructed, clean up the insides, trim the ends, then add some crisp white buttons because what doesn't say Easter chic? Like fat white buttons. <laughs>
And then I'm sad to say, I didn't actually take the sweater with me to give to my friend Emma. I really had no room in my suitcase at all. So I ended up mailing it to her. So here's a cute little picture of her in it. And uh, here's a cute little picture of us at Harry Potter World in Universal. It was very, very fun. And uh, here's some uh, airplane pics because I I am that basic girl who will always take a picture out of the airplane if I'm in a window seat. And I have a question for you. Are you a window seat kind of a person? Are you an aisle seat kind of a person? Also, do you knit or crochet or bring a craft on a plane? Because I think they're great activities. When else are you sitting still for multiple hours with nowhere else to go? Why not do a small handcraft? And I want to say thank you to all of the people that have subscribed to me since I haven't been uploading for the last few months. So this is still a great fun hobby for me and I'm happy you guys want to see it. Okay, bye.